My mission is to inspire you. Inspire you to be the best you that you can be. Failure does not exist in a positive mind. Stay optimistic. Greetings and peace be unto you. This is the inspiration show entitled What are your short and long term goals? Now, I know everybody's clouded in mind, mental, not shooting from all cylinders, not um, focus. In some ways, not focused mentally or physically right now. You know, the gyms, for the most part, are closed. Um, supermarkets are open, but it's summertime. Nobody really cooks in the summer anyway. So you're probably not eating the right things all the time. Eating out a lot. Like, you go by um, any fast food place. McDonald's, Wendy's, any one of them you can name. Um, the lines are, like, around the corner, out the door. And why is that? Is it because people have no money? Well, in some cases, people don't have any money. So they're eating at these places, eating poorly. But then in some cases, people are just choosing to eat that type of food because they don't want to cook. It's hot. You know, all that. Well, you got to get it back in gear. You can't just sit around and keep um, letting our health go away like that and not taking proper care of our bodies. But besides that, we need our goals together. We need our goals to be set. So... Right now, as you hear me, as you watch me on this screen, on this video, if you don't even have a short-term goal in effect, working in motion, then you're wrong. You're wrong. You should be able to go up to somebody in the street, and they should be able to tell you, listen, short-term, what's short-term? About next 30 days, I say. Next 30 days, I plan on doing X, Y, and Z. And the mid-range term I feel I uh, I plan on doing XYZ in the long term I, f I plan on doing XYZ so just from a mock example in 30 days I plan on saving up $500 30 days all right now let's go a little long a little mid-range term so two years from now I plan on having uh, about thousand dollars in the bank. Probably should have more than that in two years, but let's just let's just say, for instance, and then ten years from now, plan on having maybe my own business started and in motion. Um, plan on having a house. Plan on having a new car, new career. Uh, maybe married. You no, know, ten years. We're talking 10 years down the line. Now, a lot of this stuff may be far-fetched out of the way. But these are, this, these are things you need to think about. Because guess what? When you're thinking about it and you make the battle in your mind first, then now when you do it, you know, at full speed in person and live in action, it's going to flow smoother. It'll, sl it'll, it'll flow so much smoother just doing it that way. You won't have... The problems won't have the obstacles in the same sense if you actually just blindly just start doing stuff. You want it to be like that. I said in an earlier video that my daughter gave me pretty much the um the idea or the motivation. I got a planner. Now I carry a planner. So I plan my shows, you know, according to title, topic. Of course, things happen current current event wise that may happen during the week, but when I started this whole thing, my focus wasn't on so much of what's going on around me. My focus is more so on sharing my thoughts, my experiences on certain things in order to better people to better themselves, which my focus has not changed on that. I still feel the same way. So my my goal my personal goal is to motivate you to tap into yourself to bring the best out of yourself and put that in motion. So that could be giving you an eye, you know, helping you tap into something that you love, that you find a way to produce into a financial thing. 
that maybe makes you money, not me money, it'll makes yourself money. Nothing to do with me. And where's well, my other planner? Now I got a bigger planner that I just bought down too. So like I'm just every day now I'm writing. I mean I got a memo thing where I could type in my phone, but you also want to get away from the technology, get more get back more into reading and going to um research without all the technology. Technology is great, but sometimes you gotta give it a breather. You can't be all up on every social media website. Have like I'm gonna tell you right now, some of these social media platforms I go on, all it does is just anger me. And when I say anger, meaning that like I hear a bunch of ignorance on there all day long, I don't, I don't want to get involved in it. And sometimes it'll get to the point where I want to make comments, but I hold back, not because of my feelings, because I feel like. What I might say might hurt somebody bad. <laughs> so I, I hold back. Should I hold back? Probably not. Because in, in some ways too, people need to hear what's on your mind. Because what happened is they may start looking at you as, as you being fake or something. You know? Or you might being your real self. But that is my real self. I, I don't I don't not a person to a quick definition of me. I don't like to hurt people, but when I hurt you, I'm the best. And I can say that with all arrogance. When I come for you, I'm coming for you. <laughs> so there's no, there's no slowing it down, sugarcoating it. You know, it's war. That's how it is. But I try everything. I exhaust all measures not to go that route because I don't like being that way. I'd rather be peaceful and benevolent. That's also my true self. So, but we talking about goals, right? So, set up your short term, your midterm. I kind of that's not part of the title, but yeah, you need a midterm kind of sorta, of, and then also your long term. These things will enable you and help you along to obtain more success, and you'll have less trouble going after your, your goal. You'll have less obstacles, less things in the way, brain be more it'll be freer less clouded your thoughts will come right out especially when you write everything down like they say for instance uh if you're trying to lose weight you should make a journal of everything you eat and i'm gonna tell you <laughs> if you don't get tired of writing down breakfast lunch and dinner for 30 days writing down every little single thing because you're supposed to actually track everything so if you put sugar in your oatmeal if you put salt on your daggone mashed potatoes all that's supposed to be in there documented every last thing oh it's gonna get so annoying you going you gonna get right or you're gonna give up one or two things are gonna happen there's no in between one or two things will happen and then the same light with what i sex with with uh ten years success being successful write down everything doing this tomorrow or actually bring it back i'm doing this in two hours i'm doing this in six hours i'm doing this tomorrow i'm doing this next week i'm doing this six months from now i'm doing this two years from now imagine how better things will be for you how smooth things will be you can't beat somebody with a plan you just can't you know when you catch somebody off guard and they ain't got a plan, that's when things happen. That's when mayhem sets in. That's when uh, confusion sets in. So you want to sharpen your focus? Plan everything. Make everything a plan. That's all I got for right now. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Faith, health, wealth, success. Peace.